want to uh, tell an epidemic story, a pandemic story, um, out of Bold Women in Montana History, my book from 2017. Um, there's a few epidemic stories in the book, but here's my first one, which is that Myrna Loy would probably have never become a Hollywood um, actor, great Hollywood actor, without the flu epidemic of 1918. Uh, raised in Helena, Montana, and um, when she was about 12 or 13, um, is when 1918 and the influenza epidemic hit. Um, there in Helena, uh, she and her younger brother and her mom um, all got the flu. And her dad, David um, Williams, because Loy is a stage name, um, David Williams tenderly nursed his whole family through their illness. And um, he and his wife were having difficulties. Um, she was a free spirit, and he was a conservative man. Um, and um, she desperately wanted to move to Los Angeles, where she had had a couple of um, bouts of recuperating from some illness. Mm -hmm. After nursing his family back to health, David contracted the flu, and he died. And um, when he was um, ill, he told Myrna, little Myrna, his oldest of the two, um, to take good care of her mom and brother for him. Um, he actually thought he was going to be going over to fight in World War I, but he never made it. He actually died. And so they ended up moving to Los Angeles, where Myrna was exposed to the film industry. Um, she had learned dance in Helena and was very devoted to it as an art form. So she actually started in movies through dance, and then she um, failed one film test and screen test, and then became, uh, and then did fine on the next one, and was discovered by Rudolph Valentino. But she always remembered her dad's um, wishes and worked. She was one of the hardest working um, actors of her time. She worked for like ten years without a vacation, and um, she was always very driven to um, take care of her her family to be the breadwinner. So that was part of why she was so driven and um, so devoted to her art and craft. 